Hello guys, welcome to another update. In this update I am demonstrating the indicator system. The targeting indicators now will always display the nearest ships and currently it is set to a limit of 15 indicators for optimization purposes. The indicator system is fairly CPU heavy uh, for positioning the indicators. And also, I have updated the floating origin system. It, there were some issues that was causing a uh, kind of a hiccup, you could say, whenever it was updating the float. So, without further ado. Flight controls activated. I've also updated the sound effect. Uh, for the breathing and now it sounds like you're wearing an oxygen mask or you sound like Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. You'll notice the indicators pop in and out as ships fly within range. Now it's quite interesting to uh, follow the ships and watch the pathfinding from this perspective because one thing I notice is that when you're watching the pathfinding system from the perspective of inside the cockpit of the ship while the AI piloting system is flying, it's actually quite different from watching it from an exterior view because from an exterior view, you don't see the very subtle steering adjustments being made, which you would see from the cockpit perspective. So it's actually fine, I noticed, where uh, I don't have to have a complete fluid steering behavior from the cockpit perspective of the sh AI ship, because the, from the player's perspective, from an external view, they're not gonna see that that uh, type of movement. I also added uh, sound effects but the near ship tracking system allows me to add additional programming such as turning on sound players, audio sources, for only the ships that are near the the uh, AI ships that are near the player ship. One thing I do want to do is I want to uh, go ahead and modify the indicator system and have the indicators uh, somewhat larger right now. The closer you get, they, they shrink down, they scale down to a small size. And I want to go ahead and have them large, even up close. So I need to work on the scaling.
plot course around objects. And it's actually, for the first version, it's actually working very well. Uh, you don't see any ships getting stuck. In my next update, I'm going to uh, add some stuff to make the obstacle course a lot more difficult. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the waypoints on either side of these uh, this structure. And I'm going to make it move so both the waypoints will be moving, causing the ships to have to path differently around this structure every time which will give me a better test to see uh, how they get around the structure to make sure they can not only go through the structure but they can also get around it and fly around the outskirts which I'm pretty confident they'll be able to do fairly easily even without uh, any updates to the pathfinding system currently the updates I do need to do, which is uh, more sophisticated braking and thruster control system for slowing down, detecting uh, near objects and uh, slowing more accurately. Bet you guys can't wait for me to do weapon systems and start shooting at some of these ships, right? I'll get there eventually. I do have quite a bit of work to do on the uh, targeting indicator system. I want to go ahead and do a target near system. I want to get set up for targeting stations and uh, other environmental objects. And all the ships are being float near, meaning I can have them anywhere and they will always be near the player ship no matter what. I don't have collisions on for the NBC ships that hit the player ship right now. Apparently, as you just see, I just float through one. I'm going to turn it on in my next update. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I just want to show you guys I've been working on it. I worked through the weekend. Uh, there were some complicated issues that I had to work out. And it took a little longer than expected. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.